Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Anderson Blaine's Virtue's Last Reward. I was listening to one of my recordings uh, from a few episodes ago, and man, my intro sounded really wet. It sounded like one of those people with like the turkey gizzards, like the old people talking in the radio. It was like... It was so nasty. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? And to be honest with you, I can't stand it when people speak like that. Um, especially on the radio. It's just, it just sounds so gross. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've subjected you guys to this. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. Anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, we are back into the games. Uh, we're going to jump right back into the novel section, going down the, uh, cyan route, um, to get to the Sigma ending. So, here we go. AB game round one. And all we have to push is betray this time, like Vi told us. Um, <laughs> nope, 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 we've seen all this, right? We're going to hit betray. Yep, 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 yep. I ran over my options one last time. And we're going to pick betray this time. Just like Fi told us to. I wonder if Fi will give us a round of shit uh, like she did last time. As Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Well, you choose what I want you, wanted you to choose. I guess I should, I should say thanks. So, uh, thanks. Oh, come on. You don't need to do that. I just made the obvious choice. Obvious? Well, I'm sure Alice chose Betray. That meant we pretty much had to choose Betray, right? How do you know what she's going to choose? <laughs> because that's what she chose last time. I guess you could say I just know. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> yeah, let's look at the results. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. All right. Who wants to bet that she picked ally? <laughs> I mean, I don't think anything changes from the way they vote. From, you know, uh, same door to same door, but we'll see. Everybody's at three. I didn't even notice that. Ooh, it did change. It did change. She did pick Betray last time. Now she picked Ally. Wow. So whoever bet that she picked Ally won. Unless you've played it before, then it's not fair that you bet that way. I'm telling you, Sigmund's got some fucking arms. He's got guns, bro. Hey, Alice, what the hell is this? What? You chose Betray last time. So I chose Betray too. No, why? She wouldn't know. Wait a minute. Last time. What on earth were you talking about? Um, can you tell me one thing? What? When exactly did you press the button? Five minutes before the deadline. That There's the announcement, right? I pressed it right after that. Why? What? No, I can't. Uh? What's going on? When Fi and I chose Ally, Alice picked Betray. I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward is the situation is to choose Betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Maybe she? But this time I chose Betray and her voting changed to Ally. Why? What was different? Had history somehow changed because of my choice? No, that was insane. If, Ally had, if Alice had somehow known that I had chosen Betray and chosen an Ally in response, at least I would have followed the principle of cause and effect. But what had just happened was something entirely different. There was no way Alice could have known that we would have chose what we would choose when she made her decision. Besides, if she had known what we intended to betray her, there's no way she would have chosen an ally. In other words, we must have made her decision without any knowledge. 
without any knowledge of ours. Let's say we're talking about a game of rock, paper, scissors. I throw out a rock. Right after that, Alice throws out paper. Obviously, I lose, so I go back in time to sign and whip out the scissors this time. This time, Alice chooses rock. I lose again, but that's fine because it still makes sense. My actions in the past cause Alice's action in the uh, ac actions in the future. Easy, but what had just happened? The B game it wasn't like that. Let's go back to the innocent game of rock paper scissors. This time, Alice is the one who threw out her hand first. But in this situation, there's no way for me to know what it is. So I decide to go with rock. Now Alice's choice is revealed. Turns out she went with paper. Damn it, I lose and I'm pissed off. So once again, I go back in time to try and change history and erase my laws. What will I choose this time? That's not even a question. Scissors, obviously. After all, last time Alice went with paper. Here's the important part. When I make this choice, Alice has already made her choice. Sure of my victory, throw a pair of scissors. But... What the hell? My rage would be white hot. How could this have happened? Maybe some things are just destined to happen. Why? Alice's hand had been paper before. How did it change to rock? Obviously, there's no cause and effect here. Since Alice's choice was in the past and mine was in the future, how could that have happened? How could the future influence the past? Kill the past. But... Yeah, it's odd, isn't it? It wasn't theoretical now. This had actually happened. What the hell was going on? Well, it seemed like um, <clears throat> Sigma's realizing that he's jumping and he ha he can see the past. No, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck was I talking so casually about going back in time? The kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. Right, of course. Time travel is impossible. There was absolutely, positively, no way to travel through time. But, but that was true. How, how would I know what she was going to pick? The best way to minimize risk and maximize rewards in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. <clears throat> well, that makes you an idiot too, Alice, now. <laughs> I should say that back to her just to make her feel like an idiot. Hey, did you have a stroke or something? Oh, sorry. Besides, why do I have to answer your questions? I should be the one yelling at you. Because of you two, I've only got one BP left. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What in God's name is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Really, I seriously feel terrible about this. Forget it. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. You'll pay for this. Alice stormed off. She threw one last hurt scarf look over her shoulder as she left and stabbed, it right, or stabbed me right through the heart. It's alright, baby. I still got three other women in my harem. One of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really didn't know what I could say. We had no idea you'd choose ally. No. Why? No way. I'd choose betray. Now Clover on the other side. What? What did you mean? What do you mean? Do you have an interest in Clover? What? No. That's not no. What is it then? Well, um, you'd have to be crazy to pick Ally. The only way it makes sen any sense to do that is if you really trusted the other person. So you're saying you don't trust me then? Duh. Are you senile? What? Th why the hell would I trust an old geezer I just met a few hours ago? I see. Say no more. I didn't think it hurt this much. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You're starting to get creepy. <laughs> creepy, huh? I understand. I guess I'll, I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust. Yeah, we've seen this one. Yep. Well, it looks like you guys managed to get through this all right. Figure that means the fault here's got to be mine. Thank you, thank you very much. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, Mr. Dio? Yeah, exactly. Dio, Quark, and Luna, on the other hand, seem to have resolved things amicably by choosing Ally. No doubt they were all wishing they'd done the same. But why had Dio sounded so awkward? What had happened in the AB room? Only Dio and Quark knew for sure. Zero, when does the next round start? But yeah, we've seen this one already.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, things are changing. So I just want, I need to know. I need to know. Yeah, yeah. Sorry if this isn't very interesting, guys. You know, it's just... I just don't know. Whether... I'm gonna miss something. <laughs> there was a bunny outside my window while I was eating breakfast and having coffee this morning. Well, a rabbit, I guess you could say. All right, let's let's risk it here. All right. Yep, colors changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna look around to see if there's any um, ways to get out of here. After some nods, mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. Yeah, he's now he's gonna think about how the hell I ended up here. Why, why me? Yeah. Moon was beautiful. Two in the morning. Yeah. His computer decided to eat shit. <coughs> oh man, come on. And then he woke up in a elevator with the uh, Phi. Yep, 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 yep. Makes me paranoid. I like these boots. Though, if you're gonna wear those high boots, why wear the skirt, you know what I mean? It's kind of cute, though. I like the style. All right, come on. All right, so we have to go to the different areas. Let's see if anybody out, any, anybody has anything different to say. Do, 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 do. Who's in this room? Fine, Luna. Can I, can I get you a seat? Are you some kind of waitress? What do you want? Well, what do you mean, what do you want? I just came here to check up on you guys. I wish you guys could tell me if I've seen this before. So this is the lounge, huh? A bar. A sofa. And three ladies. I feel like I'm in the VIP room. Remember, no sex in the champagne room. Can I get you a drink? You better not be underage. Okay. I think we've seen this. Yeah, I think I've seen this already. What, the headaches? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've seen this. They feel numb, like someone else is controlling their actions. <laughs> Who wears an outfit like that? This is like bad and like the apocalypse on it. Come on. What are we, the 90s? He's just a skater boy. <laughs> 
Avril Lavigne kind of dress up style. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's get out of here. Fire sort of reminds me of Pat Benatar a little bit. It's probably because of the short hair. Hit me with your best shot. Do do do. I always I gotta see if there's anything different in these rooms. I mean, I, there's no way to know. I don't want you guys to miss anything. And I don't have the best of memories. Yeah, um, obviously. Oh, come on, you didn't have to get your panties in a bunch. <laughs> That's easy for you to say, Dio. I'm not wearing any panties. Really? You're sitting pretty at 5 BP. Tell me, Yuji and I only have one. You do understand what that means, don't you? That's no reason to take your anger out on people. You won't get your BB back by being a jerk to him. What's this? You're going to take his side? I thought you of all people would agree with me. I do. No, you don't. You don't get it. Why would you care? You've got, what, maybe five years left? Maybe less? <clears throat> He's not that old. <clears throat> it's not, I'm not like you. <clears throat> I'm, still, I'm still young and I want to live a long life. There's so many things I want to do. Like what? Sigma, for one? She wants to get dressed up, fall in love. What an idiot. I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, yeah, we've seen this. It's just, it, the only thing that changed is, um... Her. Avenge my father's murder. Yeah, we've seen this. The only thing that really changes is her reaction to when I vote it. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a detect detective. Yeah, we've seen this. Yeah, we don't know her. Met her in the desert. Long story. <laughs> Tammy Yuji, just garbage man. He says he doesn't know Quark, even though he does know Quark. He says he's a secret, uh, a circus ringleader, but actually he is um, one of the leaders of the Free the Soul or Myrmidons. So I guess you can say he is a leader of a circus. Yeah, a couple bars, got shit face, got gassed, I got brought back here. He planted the bombs. He killed the old lady in the elevator. <clears throat> Alice killed herself with a knife. And probably killed Luna as well. So I think we know who killed who in this situation. Of course not. What does she do? I think she's a student. Clover, at least. <clears throat> Quark's a middle school kid. Elementary school. <clears throat> We're wasting half our time going over things you've already seen. <clears throat> Some sort of medical license, a nurse. Phi, she's a complete mystery. Yeah, we've seen this. Let's make sure there's nothing in here. <clears throat> I really hope that in Zero Escape, uh, the, the next game, they added in the function where you can just skip all, all old. Keep all the new. Okay. No, we didn't find anything secret. Out of the ordinary, hmm, Scrodinger's cat. Oh yeah, we've seen this. You guys, hurry, you need to come with me. They found a bomb, probably. Yep. Yeah, they found a bomb.
Oh, all skip. We need to go to all skip. We've seen this. Yep. Really hope I'm not missing anything. There's a lot of text to go through. <laughs> Again. Yeah, other than Zero Senior. It was Dio. Now back. Okay, so I think we're going to be choosing the next path here. It's getting kind of old, having to wade through all this text, and it's taking up the majority of my video here. It's taking up at least 20 minutes of, of, of filming. A little, a little ridiculous. All right, we want to pick the green door. Chromatic doors have opened. Yep, 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 yep. All right. We're going to go through the green door. Yep, 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 yep. They're going to all vote. Option. I guess we're going to do option. What was it? B? I want to go through green. Come on. We don't want to go through the red door. <clears throat> as far as I how I felt about that, uh, no. No, that's not okay. Why not? Because... Uh, oh no, this is bad. Which door do you want then? The only other choices are A and C. I want the green door. Thought about it again. If I went with A, then Luna and I would be paired up with Clover and go through the green door. I think that's what we want. A. So which one did I want? Uh, go through the green door with Clover. I want option A. We'll take Clover and go through the green door. What gives you the power just to decide that? My fists in your face. Fine by me. Like I said before, there's something I want to talk to Alice about. Are you telling me what this thing is? That'll have to wait. Talk to me again on the other side. Gah, now I'm curious. So you're fine with this, Alice? <clears throat> with option A, I mean? Do whatever you want. I don't care. <clears throat> Are there any other objections? Okay, that's it then. Let's go, everybody. I'm really curious about Luna. I can't wait to see her ending. See what, see what she's all about. Guys, just step through the fucking doors. You don't have to wait till one. We nodded quickly to one another and split up. Alice into the red. Okay, Quark fine to the blue and us into the green. The gaping wall, the green door, bounced in front of me as Clover, Luna, and I ran toward it. The gaping maw. <laughs> Chromatic doors closing. As far as I know, there's only one puzzle puzzle room on this route. I've already been to the crew quarters, so we don't have to solve that again. Huh? Is this a dead end? Doors seem to be locked. Yeah. There's some kind of device here. I wonder what it is. It looks like the thing next to number nine door. Try pulling the lever. Why do I have to do it? Might be dangerous. I was hoping you could just wrap your hands around it and give it a good jerk. <laughs> yeah, please. It's kind of big, but I'm sure you can handle it. Just be gentle. Wow, I don't even have to make a perfect remark. 
Um, this doesn't seem like appropriate workplace behavior. You're kind of grossing me out. I know, you probably still think of yourself as just a girl, but you have to become a woman. Some... You're not making any better. Why don't you do it? If you can't take it, then maybe Luna can. Have you done this before? You just start at the base and work your way up. Give it a good tug once you get on... Get to the top. What? What is wrong with you? If you're so desperate to give that uh, to give that lever a good time, why don't you just do it yourself? Just leave me and Luna out of your sick fantasies, you creep. <laughs> Fine. I won't like it. I sighed heavily and flipped the switch with as much languid disdain as I could manage. <sighs> you are a perv, my friend. Oh, one of the doors opened. Yeah, see? If you do tug someone's lever, doors do open to you. <laughs> I think Harvey Weinstein learned that what the, uh, that lesson very well, even though he was a creep. We might as well go through it. Maybe we should try flipping it one more time, though. I think you could actually manage it with just one hand, Clover. Just do it real fast. It only takes a second. Just up and down once. Wow, you're disgusting. He is disgusting. I'm imagining um, the angry thro uh, throngs of people with pitchforks after I made that Harvey Weinstein joke. It's got a joke. Get over it. What's really a joke is a lot of people's Twitter's accounts. Those are jokes. Huh? So this is the archives. That's what it said on the door after all, but yeah. I didn't really expect it to be so archivey. All these books and stuff everywhere. I used to call it archive, not archive. Maybe we can find some clues here. I agree. All right, let's split up and have a look around. Alonzi? What the fuck's that mean? Seek a way out. All right, we're in a library now. I'm sure it'll be a plenty of book puzzles in here. First of all, what's this? Management number. What is this? It looks like some kind of chart. It says management number. What do you think it means? Well, pretty much the only thing anyone's got to manage in this room is books. It's got the letters A, B, C, and D. Then the numbers 1 through 8 running vertically. Maybe it's referring to the bookshelves in front of us. Hmm. Well, the bookshelf has 8 rows, and so does this chart. There's a narrow bookshelf on the other, on either side, and the wider one's in the middle. Yes, yeah, so they're shaped like a diagrams in this chart. Narrow, big, big, short. Okay. It looks like these books are in Latin. Can you read it? No, I can though. I'm sorry. You uh, don't need to apologize for that. What about you, Clover? Of course not. What's in here? Ah, huh, dice. Let's play some D and D. A green die. Nothing up my sleeve. You're not making it sound any less suspicious. Well, it's perfectly ordinary. Yeah, it does look like it. So we need blue, green, so we already have green dye. So blue plus green times red. Ink. Ink. Well, I guess the mystery of dark blue liquid was easier to solve than I thought. What? This looks like the sort of ink you'd use in a, with a dip pen, but I don't remember seeing anything like that. Then again, I suppose you could use it for a lot of different things. A normal blue dye. There's no music coming from this box. I guess it's just a box. I don't see a spring. Maybe we should check the movement. The movement? Sorry, movement means the, in the internal pieces that actually make it work. Like the cylinder here. Unfortunately, it looks like it's been fixed in place with a Phillips screw. Okay. Oh, I guess we can unscrew it though. Sorry, I had a cough. There are some faint lines on this paper. It must be notebook paper. I don't see any notes on it though. What if you combine? You cannot combine these items, okay. I don't know why you can't. Oh god. Red dye. Okay, we got everything we need. 
Well, this look die looks perfectly normal. Yeah. Oh wait. It says 50 grams. I guess this is the weight. I think you usually use weights like this to weigh things, but I suppose you could do other things with it. If you put it in a snowball, you can get a little extra oomph. That's not what I meant. Wait a minute, let's do this. If you're putting things on both sides, you can compare them, but do we actually have anything to weigh? Well, the scale had a, the scale had a die on it, uh, and a weight on the when we found it. We have we got three dice. I think we should figure out what they weigh using this weight. Oh no. Okay, so so the green die is heavier. So let me see something. So, so the dice is 50 grams. So red dice is 50 grams. So the blue and green dice weigh more than the weight. So they have to weigh more than 50 grams, so. I don't know how, what we're getting out of this, but um, what if we do this? So now, okay. Uh, I don't think the scale is going to unlock a box when we fulfill a certain is going. I don't think the scale is going to unlock a box when we fulfill a certain condition or something. It certainly doesn't look that way. I think we're supposed to do it with do it with its weight. I think all we're supposed to do with it is weigh things. Oh, I hate this already. Oh, what's this? Is there something up there? What is it? I can't see it from down here. The fourth row of the leftmost column on the shelves. The fourth row, okay. Oh, this looks like it's me a pain in the ass. So we gotta get like... We can open the box. A puzzle, uh, as puzzles go, is pretty straightforward. We just need the right five-digit number. Oh no. <sighs> this is gonna be a pain in the ass. <coughs> so we know that the, we know that this is 50 grams. So red is 50. So red is 50. Red is 50. So we need to do times. Um, we just need to figure out what um, what they all weigh. But how do you figure that out? Like, I'm not that smart, guys. I'm not that smart. So red is 50 grams. So we know that for sure. So what if we do this? So that's 50. So this would be 100 grams. So green, green is 100. Okay. So green is 100. So what if we put... So green, so red is 50. So green, red, and blue is 150. Is that correct? We shall see. All right, time to get the calculator out. All right, calculator. Okay. Sorry, guys, you can't see this, but I'm whipping out my calculator, my big old calculator. So... It is blue. Blue would be 150. Plus green, which is 100. Okay, it's 250. And then times 50. 12,500.
guess it's right. Yeah, that's what I got. It's the correct. Hmm. How do I check it? Enter the correct numbers to open the lock. Click the digit dial once to visit by one notch. Okay, so I am doing it right. Did I use something wrong? So I, I'm pretty sure I did that right. So blue, green, and red. So all right. So blue is 150 plus green is 100. All right. Times 50. Am I doing something wrong? <sighs> what the fuck? Alright, screw that. Fuck this. Using my stand power. <sighs> okay, so this is what it says. Use the weight on the scale. You have, you have to weigh the dice. The results on the red dice uh, die weighs 50 grams. The green weighs 100. And the blue weighs... 150 okay i was right the lockbox shows the blue plus the green die times the red die however if you go left to right oh you'll get the wrong answer you have to start by multiplying the red die times the green die that's 50 times 100 then you add the blue die so it's 05150 Ugh. bullshit See, guys, I was doing it right. It's just, how was I supposed to know to do it the other way? Stupid. <coughs> there you go. Unlocked. Good job. Let's open it. Oh, but in order of operations, it would be, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiple, multiplication. Oh, I wonder if this is someone's diary. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Nothing on the cover. I wonder what kind of book it is. Let's, op let's open it up. I can't read it. I think this is Latin. Looks that way. Well, it's not a total loss. There's a bookmark at least. Hmm, maybe we should take that. Okay, let's uh, look at the bookmark. Archive. Oh, yeah, that's... This is the thing we got last time. Bookmark, here we go. It's a Tetris piece. Wonderful. I have no clue what that does, so let's just, let's just head on out. It, was there something that I didn't know? Some books were written in Latin. None of us can read them. Some books were written in Latin. Oh, what's this? Oh, one of these things is not like the others. You're right, it's a different color. Let's have a look at it. The Stairway. Nice blue hardbook cover. I guess this I guess the title is The Stairway. Hey look, there's something written on the back of this book. Go up A0502. The back of the book says go up A0502. A 
zero five. Zero two. So, middle shelf? The fifth row. Wait a minute, I'm confused. The book is different too. Maybe we should take it with us. Go up. The stairway. Oh, B630. A book with red cover. The titles go up. And this one, too. Back says stair, uh, the stairway, B630. So it would be on B6, B630. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what the back of that book say? It said, um... Go up A502. A5. And then it's the second book in. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else in here that's suspicious. Here's another book that doesn't match. That makes three. And Lion to the Sun 518. <coughs> and Lion 0 D703. So I'm guessing this would be A, B, C, D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Go here. Okay, and then the other one would go back. It's basically just going. There you go. What was that? I think it came from the other side of the wall. No, that wasn't the wall. I think it came from the bookshelf. What, what's happening? Oh, it's, it's making a stairway. Nice. It sunk. I guess it was on. It was one of those trick bookshelves where if you put the right thing in the right place, it does stuff. It's like a staircase. Well, if they were nice enough to give us stairs, I guess we could should climb them. The top left it, um, is a lot more narrow than I thought. Should I go? Well, I think a big skirt like that might get kind of dangerous. Well, I could look up it too. Or I could just hike it up. I think I should be. And, uh, I think there's somebody down on all fours trying to, to not look like he's staring up towards the bookshelf. Sigma, what are you doing? Uh, I lost the contact. You don't wear any. <laughs> Ow, you climb. Okay. Uh, a doll. Okay. That's the only thing that's up here. I guess I might as well take it. Huh? Can't really go any further. This is a dead end. Are you done yet? Is there Was there anything up there? Yeah, I'm, I'm heading back down now. So, did you find anything? No puzzle or anything like that. Just that stuffed animal? Yeah. Oh, he's got a thing in his mouth. Hey, it's a funny looking dog. Dog, it's a lion eating the sun. Pretty sure that's a lion. This is a lion? It doesn't look like one. Are you calling me a lion? Nah, it's a lion. Oh, hold on. There's a zipper on its back. Let's see what's inside. A memory card. Here you go. That was inside the lion. Okay, so what if we did this? All right, we've got the blue memory card. And there's a blue slot in the stand. Let's see what happens if we put it in there. So there is another place to use the memory card in. Oh, no. What's, what's going on here? It's showing the dice. I wonder what the puzzle is. Well, there's only one way to find out. Roll the six dice. 
Choose which dice you like to move by clicking it. You can roll it vertically or horizontally by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. So, okay. We have a bookmark. So, red and red. Okay. Okay. So, what else? Green. So, blue, green, blue. This isn't really all that difficult. Unless there's something that I don't realize is going on here. No, it's pretty cut dry and simple. <coughs> Easiest puzzle ever. You did it. Good work, Sigma. That was amazing. The colors changed. Do you think? Let's take a look. Wait, is this? Yeah, it's the password for the safe. What if we looked at it a different way? Let's see something quick. Archive? Uh, no, 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 no. Bookmark. Oh, this is a lot easier to do. Okay, so that's not it. So what if he did this? I'm just trying to switch it out to see if I can get like the other password or something like that, you know what I mean? Oh, this is the same way. It's doing it the same. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Duh. Okay. I'm just trying to see if I can... So what if we did... Red. Did I already do this? I don't know. We're gonna put the blue there. All right, doesn't do anything. Okay, so. What if we did the, I think I've already already done that. I already did this way. No, okay. I don't know. Damn, I don't get it. Is there something on the this uh, bookmark that I'm not seeing? Mm -hmm. So we see something red. Go to the safe. Oh, come on. Where's the safe? There it is. I was looking right at him, an idiot. That's the safe, right? Yeah. Looks like the one in the crew quarters. Archive. Uh, password. Self. A, uh, archives. Oh, wow. I got the, the secret one. So it's uh, moon, moon, star. Awesome, it's open. Good job, Sigma. Um, so, wait a minute. How am I supposed to get the get it any other way? There's something with this ink. Hmm. Wait. So what if I combine this? Uh, what if I combine this? No, okay. Um, 
I'm missing something here. What am I missing exactly? I'm missing an item, I have a feeling. Because I'm supposed to be doing something with this ink. If not, I mean, I'm doing something wrong. Ah, hmm. uh, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is what I was looking for. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now, can we combine the ink? Yep. Just need to roll this across the paper, and here we go. Pattern transcribed. You found a report. To review it, go in the archive. Okay. Archive. Report. Eh? What the fuck? What the hell is that? Um... Um, I'm confused. Um, I don't, I don't get it. Okay. Oh. oh, oh, I get it. I have to do it by the colors that were on there. So, um, let's see here. So red would be five. Okay. Red over here would be two. Six would be uh, blue. Four would be five. Right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have to do it this way. So, this is where it's the pain. So now, it's not as easy as it seems. Um. Oh, goody. This needs to be five. I hate these puzzles so goddamn much. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, now blue six. Sorry, I hopefully you guys were hearing me because my microphone was a little bit further away from me. Um, hmm. Blue six. So blue six. There you go. Blue six. Um, green four.
There you go. Um, and then red two. I'm gonna, it just reminds me of Domino's Pizza. I want some Domino's Pizza, bro. So, okay, so I go down. There you go. Two. Uh, blue one. There we go. Blue one. Even though they look like different colors. Okay, that's because they're highlighted. And green, three. So there's going to be four sides, and then... Boop! There you go. I'm awesome. Good job. Excellent work. You know, I had to cheat a little bit for that. I only had to cheat on the... Um, on the way scale thing. Uh, I think it's just different password. Yep, there you go. Uh, let's see, archive, password, safe archive, so moon, moon, moon. I wonder if you could just cheat completely and just put in all the correct passwords without doing the puzzles. It'd be interesting. Huh. Uh, it opened. Good job. Well done. So, what have we got this time? First, a map. It says Floor B. The one we found in the cabin said Floor A. So did the map in the infirmary. And that means Floor A must be the, to the top floor, right? We did come down here on the elevator, after all. This all seems very, um, similar. There's more stuff in here. I know what those are. It's the moon card for the Ambidex rooms. We just got two, like the Sun Keys pair. Yep, 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 yep. Piece of paper. It says something written on it. Yeah, we've seen this one. Yeah. Anyway, what else is in the safe? Only one thing, a key. Is this the exit key? Looks like it. We can open the door. Yep. Let's go. But that'll have to wait until next time. Sorry that took so long. It took about 20 minutes for me to actually get to new gameplay. Uh, and that was just because I was nervous of missing anything, you know, new or, uh, I guess, well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I didn't want to miss anything new because you don't know what you're skipping when you're hitting the all skip button. But I think everything from here on out should be new, I think. I'm hoping. And we're actually well on our way to the um, Sigma ending. If I have a look here, uh, yeah. Wow. Um, after we get out of here, yeah, it's one more AB game, and we're pretty much done. But we all know how these endings go. They can run on for a very long time, and I don't want to risk it. But until then, I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, because it makes me feel good. And make sure you have a good night. Good night.